Hello everyone, my name is Jia Su. I'm going to present our recent work, Kablini SPTRSV, a thread level synchronization free sparse triangle solve on GPUs. This is a joint work of Renewity of China, China University of Petroleum, National University of Singapore, and Illinois Institute of Technology. This is the outline of our presentation. Next, I will introduce the background. First, let me introduce the matrix format. If the majority of elements in a matrix are zeros, we can store the matrix using a sparse representation that only requires non-zero elements. The complex sparse row format stores a matrix in row-wise with three arrays without zero values. The matrix in figure A can be stored in the format of figure B. The CSR row pointer array stores the beginning position of each row. The CSR column index array stores the column number of each element. And the CSR value array stores the values. Next, I will illustrate the sparse triangle solve. For sparse triangle solve, it compiles a dense solution vector X from the sparse linear system. Where matrix L is a square lower triangular sparse matrix and B is a dense vector. Then, I will introduce the basic concepts that are essential for understanding sparse triangle solve for the equation set Lx equal B. We provide the following concept. Component is an element in solution vector x, such as x0. Element is a non-zero element in matrix L, such as L00. Dependency, if the solution of component xi needs the value of component xg, xi has a dependency on xg. For example, due to the element L21, the component x2 needs the value of component x1, so x2 has a dependency on x1. Level is a solution order according to dependency among components. The components at the same level from a level set. Next, let's review the current sparse triangle solve algorithms. I will show the level set algorithm in this slide. The level set method has two phases. The first is grouping nodes according to their rows or columns that can be consumed in parallel. The second is solving nodes group by groups with barriers between. This is the warp level synchronization free sparse triangle solve proposed by Liu and others in 2016. The algorithms compute components X in the original row order of the input matrix and uses one warp to compute one row. And it adds a new flag array in degree to show whether the component X is solved, which avoids the synchronization and greatly reduces the processing time. In addition to the two algorithms mentioned earlier, a media QSPARS library also provides functions for sparse triangle solve directly. We summarize the differences between the three algorithms and test their performance with three random sparse matrices. As shown in this table, we can observe that the synchronization free sparse triangle solve algorithms exhibit short preprocessing time and high performance. In comparison, the preprocessing time of level size spar triangle solve algorithms is very long, which greatly limits their applicability. However, we find that the current spar triangle solve algorithm does not fit all situations. We define a new indicator called parallel granularity to describe the matrix characteristics for sparse triangle solves. In the equation, 
N level means the average number of components per level, and N zero means the average number of non-zero elements per row. The performance trend of warp level synchronization free sparse triangle swap is shown in the figure. As the increase of parallel granularity, the performance increases at first and then declines. The reason is that as the parallel granularity increases, the GPU resources are underutilized, more idle state appear in thread, and insufficient GPU parallelism happens. A thread level synchronization free sparse triangle swap could help when the performance declines, which is our motivation. We use this slide for further explanation. In this figure, we use rectangles of different colors to represent different layers. Pink rectangles represent level 0, yellows represent level 1, blues represent level 2, green rectangles represent level 3. The orange arrows represent the data dependency. For simplicity, we assume the GPU device can launch two warp at the same time and each warp can support three threads. In figure A, which is a level size bar triangle solve, although it can execute at thread level, the synchronization in the level side design limits its parallelism. Figure B, which is the warp level synchronization free algorithm, it achieves performance improvement by removing synchronizations compared to figure A. There are still many idle threads. Figure C is our thread level synchronization free sparse triangle solve. Our new designs utilize the GPU better, but there exists inter and intra warp communication. Previous synchronization free designs are mainly based on warp states and synchronization between warps, but ignore the thread states in warps. Hence, we call such warp level sparse triangle solve core screened. In contrast, we additionally consider thread states and thread level synchronization within warps, which is fine grained, just like Caplini, a very slender kind of Italian pasta. Then, I will show the three challenges of our new algorithm. The first one is to avoid deadlocks. Previous methods usually use a while loop to constantly check whether the related value has been updated. Because the thread in a warp of warp level algorithms are designed to update the same value, they do not have deadlock. However, in thread level design, the threads in one warp may have dependency. For example, in our program simply compiles all the elements before updating the component. The thread 2 and 3 in the figure shall incur deadlock. Because thread 2 and 3 are in the same warp, when thread 3 constantly check x1 for the element L21, according to the GPU lockstep manner, Thread 2 also executes the same instruction but does not update the status of X1. The second challenge is the last element checking. In sparse triangle solve, when processing a non zero element in a row, we need to verify whether the precise element is on the diagonal. A common solution is to add an if statement for checking the last element before processing each non-zero element. However, such last element checking causes runtime overhead. For example, in the process of thread 5 in the figure, last element checking happens before thread 5 processing the element L40 and L41, which should be removed. In our experiment, this overhead can cause 27.3% performance slowdown. The third challenge is thread execution model. Although we use a thread to handle one component, 
the GPUs are still executed in warp execution mode. In detail, the threads in the same warp have to transmit the required components simultaneously. For example, thread 6 requires X2 for computing element L52, which can be only obtained after the third cycle. However, if we simply use a while loop to check the condition to move on, thread 6 starts checking from the beginning, and thread 4 and 5 within the same warp are also need to wait for thread 6 in the constant condition check, which means that the processing of L31 and L40 also need to be postponed to the fourth cycle, although their required x1 and x0 are ready at second cycle. The first part is the detail of our novel algorithm, Kablini SPTR SV. I will show our three new designs in Kablini to solve the challenges mentioned before. First, we propose a two-phase mechanism to avoid the deadlocks. We divide the computation process of a warp into two phases. The first phase is for the elements in the related row of matrix L that has no interdependency within a warp. After calculating the element without interwarp dependency, we compute the interdependent element in the second phase. Second, we propose a novel design to reduce the number of last element checking. First, I will introduce the two functions marked in right before. In the first phase, the element without interwarp dependency can be precise directly and do not cause deadlock problem. So, we use a traditional busy waiting strategy to compute the elements with showing function precise well loop. In the second phase, since thread in the same warp execute synchronously, the traditional busy waiting method cannot be used. Instead, the thread has to check the finishing condition. To reduce the number of checking, we find that if the function check solve is true, the element must not be on the diagonal. Thus, we only need to check the elements whose relevant components X are not ready. Third, we propose a writing first optimization that thread can compute the element and write the partial result first without waiting for other threads. We remove the computing part in the first phase and expand the scope of the second phase computation from the interwarp dependent element to the whole element in the row so that thread can compute the element and write the partial result first without waiting for other threads. Our algorithms has the following desirable features. First, no preprocessing. Kablini SPTR SV does not involve any preprocessing, so that our algorithm can be easily applied to various situations. Second, strong effectiveness. By addressing the limitations of existing approaches, Kablini supports sparse matrices that have high parallel granularity which enables the synchronization-free sparse triangle soft design to be efficient for various sparse matrices. Third, the compressed spar row format. Kablini adopts the most popular compressed spar format so that users do not need to conduct format transformations. The fifth part is evaluation for methods Kablini represents our novel algorithm. Synchro-free represents the state-of-the-art warp-level synchronization-free algorithm, and CUSPAS represents the sparse triangle solve in CUSPAS. Besides, we measure the performance on three experimental platforms, 
including three generations of NVIDIA GPUs, Pascal, Volta, and Turing Macro Architectures. We used 245 matrices from University of Florida sparse matrix collection for validation. The average number of non-zero elements per row in those matrices is 19.6, and the average number of components per level is 12,484.9. On average, Cavallini achieves a performance of 6.84 GFLOW per second, while Syncor 3 and Kuzbas only achieve 1.78 and 1.92 GFLOW per second. Cavallini achieves the highest performance for 87% of the matrices. We show the performance results for different algorithms on various GPU platforms in the figure which shows that Cavallini brings significant performance benefits. Besides, Cavallini Spar Triangle Solve achieves 4.97 times speed up over the Syncor 3 and 4.74 times speed up over the Cruise Bus. We show the performance speed up of Cavallini over Syncor 3 in the figure, and we can see that the performance benefits increase along with the parallel granularity, specifically at the parallel granularity of 1.18. For the matrix LP1, Cavallini reaches an average 34.77 times performance speed up. In addition, we show the optimal algorithm selection between Cavallini and Syncor 3 under two factors, the number of non-zero element per row and the number of component per level in this figure. We can see that Caplini Spar Triangle Solve is the best choice when the number of components per level is high and the element per row is low. To further analyze the benefits of Caplini, we perform a detailed performance analysis. This figure shows the bandwidth utilization. We use the NVIDIA performance analysis toy and we prove to obtain the DRAM read and write bandwidth. Cavallini SPTR SV achieves an average bandwidth of 56.09 GB per second for the matrices whose parallel granularity are larger than 0.7. The bandwidth utilization of Cavallini is 5.17 times higher than Syncor 3 and 5.25 times higher than Cruz Bus, which proved the effectiveness of Cavallini Spar Triangle Solve. Besides, Cavallini launches fewer warps than the previous Syncor 3, and our algorithm is also more concise. We measure the number of GPU instructions executed and the percentage of instruction stall to exhibit the instruction executions of different algorithms. Figure A shows the number of executed instructions. In general, Caplini saves 76.02% instructions compared to the Syncor 3 and 56.02% instructions compared to the Cruise Bus. Figure B shows the instruction stalls percentage. The value of our Cavallini is 12.55%, which is 25.6% lower than Syncor 3 and 65.6% lower than Cruise Bus. Cavallini Spar Triangle Solve is open source on GitHub. Currently, it has already drawn some attention. Here is our conclusion. We show our insights in current Spar Triangle Solve algorithms and propose parallel granularity to describe sparse matrices. We develop Cavallini Spar Triangle Solve to precise sparse matrices that previous algorithm cannot handle efficiently. We evaluate Cavallini SPTR SV with 245 matrices 
and demonstrate its benefits over the state-of-the-art spa triangle sauce. Thank you for listening. I am glad to answer any questions.